What's good, y'all? It's Boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're gonna check out celebrities who injured WWE wrestlers. This should be a pretty interesting one. Um, sometimes, you know, celebrities get into a wrestling ring and, you know, they obviously don't know what's going on or how things should be, you know, done. And sometimes accidents happen. So, we're gonna check out some of them situations where celebrities uh, accidentally injured some WWE wrestlers. Appreciate all love and support y'all have shown on the channel. We're gonna get right into this, let's do it. Happens when you put a real boxer in a WWE ring. At the No Way Out pay-per-view in 2008, Big Show returned to WWE. The moment became very memorable, but for all the wrong reasons. Big Show decided to make an impact on his first night by attacking Rey Mysterio, always who had just Ray. lost a match. The it's always Rey. Just always remember, anytime you want to come back and make a re-debut or make a statement, just attack Rey. Just attack Ray. Giant was about to deliver a fatal blow, but was interrupted when undefeated oh, yeah, boxer Floyd Mayweather this. jumped over the barricade and into the ring. Big Show stood about a foot and a half taller than Mayweather and decided this. to taunt the boxer by getting on his knees. Now, before you see what Floyd did, there's one important thing you need to know. Floyd is going to punch Big Show one shot. We're told in the face. Now, here's what Floyd Mayweather. Bro, this, I remember watching this live. I thought this was fucking insanity. And then you'll see, for those who don't know, you'll see what happens. Actually did. Bop, bop. That was a lot more than just one punch. The multiple fists caused Big Show's nose to break and the world's largest athlete became legitimately angry and ran after the boxer. There was a switch when Mayweather broke my nose where if I'd have gotten my hands on him, we wouldn't have had a WrestleMania moment or promotion. Sometimes celebrity. Oh yeah, nah, bro. He legit broke his shit. And you may think those punches look light, but no, he, you know, Floyd is a boxer. That that was bare knuckles, and he was supposed to punch him once, but he ended up piecing this man up, giving him multiple combos. That shit was crazy, bro. Watching that live. These aren't so lucky, and they end up feeling a wrestler's wrath after they've messed up. When a wrestler gets hit for real by their opponent, they will often hit their opponent back with a hard blow. Yeah. This is what's called a receipt, and celebrities aren't exempt. During the 2022 Royal Rumble, Johnny Knoxville entered the iconic yep. match and confronted AJ Styles. Uh -huh. However, See, the Jackass star smacked AJ a bit too hard and hurt him. The phenomenal one, though, let it slide after he knocked Knoxville down with a stiff clothesline. Now, it makes sense. Like I said at the beginning of the video, sometimes they they obviously they don't understand you know you kind of you kind of got to be careful with how you throwing punches or whatever the case may be and they'll legit you know end up hitting the wrestler and the wrestler will be like, all right let me show you what's up that's that's just what it is how a professional boxer and a guy from Jackass could hurt a WWE superstar. But how in the world does a 58-year-old lady injure a wrestler? Here's how. In the lead up to the 1000th episode of Raw, all kinds of celebrities and stars from WWE's past made special appearances. One of them was singer Cindy Lauper, who appeared at the first WrestleMania in 1985 and helped introduce WWE into mm -hmm. the mainstream. She had not been in a ring since then, so Cindy Lauper's return on Raw was a big moment. Unfortunately, Heath Slater cut the celebration short. The one-man band said he had to share his new single and he turned Raw into a concert. Luckily, Roddy Piper came out to cut Slater off. Hot Rod didn't just come to save everyone's ears though. Piper also gave Sidney Lauper a gift, a framed record, but Lauper decided to use it for a different purpose. Oh. oh my god! Even though the glass was rigged to break, the attack actually cut Slater open oh. and he started to bleed. Once the WWE camera crew saw what had happened, they cut the camera off Slater's face. Who would have thought that a sweet, That's crazy. year old woman would have busted someone open? Randy Savage had a rough film career, literally. The Macho Man made his movie debut in Ready to Rumble. Mm. At the beginning of the film, the main character, Gordy, has a daydream about fighting a store clerk in a tag team wrestling match. Gordy has fictional wrestler Jimmy <laughs> King in his corner, while the store clerk's tag team partner is Randy Savage. I Ironically, during the filming, it was Macho Man who took a real punch to the face. No, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> yeah. oh, While that was painful, this next celebrity could have killed Savage. Not long after Rage Rumble, Macho Man had his defining film role in the chosen two Spider-Man mm, movie. Classic. After Peter Parker gets the power, I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of playtime. <laughs> Man, 
Love this damn movie. Powers that eventually turn him into Spider-Man, he enters a local wrestling competition to make some money. To win, Parker has to last three minutes in the rain mm -hmm. with Bonesaw McGraw, played by the Macho Man. Behind the scenes, Randy Savage insisted on performing all of his own stunts. During the final part of Bonesaw and Spider-Man's wrestling match, the superhero uses a monkey flip to send his opponent crashing into the ropes. This part had to be shot multiple times, which took a toll on Randy Savage's body. In of fact, course. in the final cut of the movie, you can see Macho Man oh. land on his head. According to the Macho Man's brother, Savage had difficulty turning his neck after the filming and would often turn his entire torso instead. Damn. Savage did not ask for any of this, but this next wrestler sort of had an injury cut. Bro. That's someone that's from that era. They take pride in doing If they're in a movie, they're a wrestler, they take pride in doing the stunts. You know, because they wrestled. It For them, it's like a wrestler saying, nah, I don't want to do the stunts when they wrestle is one of those type of things where it, for them it that part that era and i'm pretty sure there's there's still some people out there that would take pride in in doing the stunts because they are a professional wrestler he was one of them rest in peace randy savage man Coming to him. In 2011, Wolverine himself, I remember Jackman, this. was guest hosting Raw. Dolph Ziggler came out and confronted the actor and shared a pretty hot take. Cleveland is the town of the underdog. Underdog is just another word for loser. Jackman didn't agree with Ziggler and decided to find an underdog in WWE to fight the United States champion. Wolverine ended up picking Zack Ryder and accompanied the Long Island IC to the ring. During Ryder and Ziggler's match, Dolph's manager, Vicky Guerrero, smacked the Long Island loudmouth. Hugh Jackman decided to return the favor and punched Dolph Ziggler in the face, <laughs> allowing Ryder to hit the Rough Rider and win the match. Unfortunately, the punch actually connected and injured the Shaw's jaw. Mm -hmm. However, this didn't happen because Jackman was careless or going off script. And he goes, so what do we do? Just I kind of swing by you. I go, if you don't punch me in the face as hard as you can, I'm going to get fired and I'm coming after you. To his credit, Jackman didn't hold anything back. Wow. In fact, the punch fractured Dolph Ziggler's jaw and he had to wear a mouth guard for a little while. Even though Ziggler told Jackman to really hit him, the actor felt bad and sent Ziggler a case of beer as a gift. One of the you know what's crazy? I remember watching that. And I thought just, you know, Dolph had sold it really well, but I didn't know that he actually told him, legit punch me, bro. Punch me like you're fucking Wolverine. Punch me. And he did. He legit punched him. Dolph sold it, but he legit punched him. Clocked him good, bro. That's crazy. I, that part I did not know. I've seen the segment before plenty of times, and I watched it live when it aired, but I didn't know the the context behind it which is actually pretty dope the movies that helped transform Batista from a popular wrestler into a successful actor was the James Bond film Spectre. Mm -hmm. In the movie, Batista plays a character named Mr. Hanks, an assassin working for a terrorist organization. Of course, he has some run-ins with James Bond, including a fight on a moving mm -hmm. train. During the filming, Daniel Craig, the actor who played James Bond, accidentally punched Batista in the nose and actually broke it. Unlike Ew. the big show, Batista was surprisingly chill about having his nose broken. Craig apologized to the animal and they continued filming the fight scene. So so far these injuries have been pretty i mean once again it's that pride thing i'm a wrestler bro i've, been, I've kind of been through i've been through the ringer it's okay i've i've had a broken nose before you know what i'm saying Let, let's keep it going bad, but I'm not joking when I say this next injury is the worst of them all. Shortly after leaving WWE, Kevin Nash appeared in the Marvel movie, The Punisher. In it, Nash played a villain called the Russian. During the film, the Russian has a massive fight with the main character, Frank Castle, aka The Punisher. At the start of the fight, The Punisher stabs Kevin Nash's character with a knife. Nash just laughs it off and keeps beating up his enemy. Here's the crazy thing though, it was a real knife. The actor playing The Punisher accidentally grabbed a real knife instead of a fake one. What's even crazier? is that Kevin Nash didn't realize he had been stabbed until he saw the blood. Once Whoa. Kevin and the film crew realized what happened, the WWE wrestler decided to just super glue the wound shut and finish filming the scene. It's amazing Kevin Nash can walk when he's carrying balls of steel. Hey, I never knew that. That's crazy, bro. He just... Yeah, that, that that's, that's, that's insanity. Now, that's true. I've never heard of that. If that's really true... Yeah, Kevin Nash is, he's built different, bro. That's fucking insane. <laughs> what? 
While that might be the worst injury in this video, this next one is the most painful, if you're a man. After leaving WWE, Jeff Jarrett would begin a feud with radio personality Beetlejuice. Double J started the rivalry <laughs> when he hit Beetle on the head with Beak. his iconic guitar. Jarrett didn't realize it at the time, but he was going to regret this decision. The next week, Jeff Jarrett competed in a match against Booker T, with the winner becoming the World Heavyweight Champion. Because of the match stipulation, the talent was hidden inside one of four boxes hanging above the ring. After a lengthy and brutal battle, only one box remained. Jarrett was just inches away from becoming world champion when all of a sudden, Beetlejuice ran in and hit Double J below the belt. <laughs> Beetlejuice accidentally did his job a bit too well as the first punch hit Jarrett's, well, you know. Beetle made sure the other punches he threw didn't hit anywhere sensitive, but hey, the damage was already done. Lesson learned, don't mess with Beetlejuice. Thanks. While all these moments were either done by accident or with good intentions, this next incident was made to physically punish someone. In the late 90s, WB decided to try something new, real fights. The company held a tournament called the Brawl for All, where wrestlers would get uh, into the ring yeah. and actually fight one another. The man who ended up winning the this tournament was not was a good Bart idea. Gunn, which seems great, except it was actually the worst thing that could have happened to him. The higher ups at WWE wanted a different wrestler named Steve Williams to win, mm -hmm. but Gunn beat him. WWE wasn't going to let it slide, so they decided to do something pretty mean. At WrestleMania 15, WWE put Gunn one. in one more Brawl for All match. Gunn's opponent wasn't another WWE wrestler, though. Instead, it was Butterbean, who was an actual boxer. While Bart Gunn won the tournament, he was a wrestler, not a fighter. Yeah. Not surprisingly, then, Butterbean knocked Bart Gunn out Look at in this, 35 bro. seconds. Take down, take 27 down. seconds left. Oh, oh my god. god. It's over. Goodbye. Luckily, Bart Gunn wasn't seriously hurt, but it was a pretty embarrassing moment. Jeez. Now, did you know that WWE actually has a secret hand signal to tell if a wrestler is really hurt? To find out what it is, watch the video. Hey, man, this was a really good one. Once again, by Tap Out Corner, make sure you subscribe to him if you haven't already. Uh, some of these I really did not know, and it just shows the testament of these wrestlers when they get into the, the movie business, how much pride they have, where they are willing to do the stunts, they don't care, they end up getting a, a broken nose or whatever the case may be, slightly injured, they're there to show the industry like, this is why wrestlers are wrestlers. They're some of the toughest individuals on the earth in their profession so if you ask for our services we're gonna show you why we're tough i respect that love to see it man comment down below let me know some of these instances did you not know of or did you know about all of these let me know which one would surprise you the most but i appreciate all the love and support y'all have shown on the channel road to 150k and i'm still gonna be the youtube wrestling champion of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace